What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome to a brand new unboxing video. This is like completely new. This is a brand new box that just came out. This is the first one that they have. In this video, we are gonna be unboxing the 2017 June Think Geek Capsule. This box is from a company called Think Geek. I first heard about this company a really long time ago online. A lot of you guys, whenever I got some really cool stuff from like the Geek Feel box, you guys would be like, oh, Think Geek has that. And I remember shopping online, it was a little bit expensive. But when I went to Boston, I was at a mall. I don't even remember where I was in Boston, but I was in some mall. And they had a store, an actual store of Think Geek, like an, uh, a, what is it called? A, I forgot. What's that word called? Flagship? I don't know. Anyways, it was a really cool store. I found out that this store is actually owned by GameStop, so it's like GameStop's version of a collectible store, which makes sense, because I feel like that's something that GameStop has always wanted to do. They came out with this new box, so this is the first box of the series. It's not a full-on subscription right now, it's only a three box set so when I got this there was the option of doing month to month or to get all three boxes it's very simple straightforward pricing it's $24.99 per box plus $5 shipping at the time when I bought this I could buy the three box set and that was uh, same price so it ended up being like $89 and 97 cents so nothing fancy with the pricing again it's only coming out for it's like a summer series I think they're probably testing the waters just to see how they do and how people respond and then they potentially might I don't know open it up to an actual subscription thing so we'll see how they do but if you are interested in getting this box I'll put all the pricing details in the description below it is still available for sale um, you can still get the month to month plan or you can just buy a two box set now which of course at $24.99 per box plus $5 shipping for each box it ends up being $59.98 that you have to pay up front all right once you cut the tape and you open up the box this is what you're gonna see Think capsule number one. Let me remove this thing. Oh my gosh. So first of all, this is a really cool little thing. I'm not going to open it. I think this is where they have the spoilers. It looks like a big envelope, but you open it and it's like a poster. Uh, it says, spoiler alert, Dumbledore dies. Gosh, I hope all of you guys have seen or read Harry Potter because if not, now that's a spoiler alert. It says, also don't open this if you don't want to know the contents of your capsule. Oh my gosh, that's, <laughs> it's like kind of mean but kind of funny. Okay, this box first, first look, it's pretty packed. I forgot to tell you that when you get the multi box thing where you pay up front, you get a bonus item. So this is what that says, bonus item. <clears throat> which means that I got an extra item in this box. And if you get the two box set that's still available now for July and August, you still get a bonus item. So let's see. Oh, oh, I think because I bought all three. Oh, that just shows you the bonus, but whatever. I get three bonus items. So a bonus item in each box. That is a good incentive. I actually prefer them doing that than charging less if you get a multi-month subscription. I would much rather just get a bonus item. That's pretty cool. Let's see. The first item we got is a set of... Ghostbusters playing cards. These are just your average deck of cards and they're Ghostbusters themed. I think that I have received these before. I'm excited to bring these to work. You can never have too many playing cards. I do enjoy playing cards. I think I saw these also at five below. So that's the first item. Second item is Think Geek collectible pins fantasy edition so I don't know if that's what the theme of this month's box is but now this is wave one I don't know if that means that in this set you could have gotten one of these pins I'm assuming that's what it means because there's only one pin it says look for randomly inserted individually numbered and ultra rare pins oh that's fancy I'm pretty sure that I got this hat this purple hat which is cool I actually think that was probably my favorite out of the options the four options I'm not gonna lie the pin designs are a little a little bit well, you know oh no I hope this isn't the one that's my number because I just ripped this thing so no, first of all, they need to change the size of this paper because you can't open up the plastic without ripping the cardboard, which is awful if you're actually trying to collect these. So that is the hat pin. It's like the wizard hat. 
just a single pin thing. It's simple yet, weirdly enough, it's actually kind of cool. I like the cartoony design on it. I don't know if I showed that long enough, but I like the cartoony design that this pin has. I don't know if I would have been as happy if I would have received, like, again, a book or the... The dragon's okay. He just looks kind of weird. Next, we got a Magical Mixing Pony Pint. It says that this Magical Mixing Pony Pint is the perfect way to drink down flavors of every hue. With 16 ounces of space to be filled, basically, da, 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 seven different color, seven different bewitching colors present the enchanting opportunity to, to find friends to complete your rainbow and initiate. Wait, what? Receive. Oh, man, I got so excited. I thought that this was a cup that for some reason changed. You know, I love cha color changing cups, right? That changed colors at each layer or something, like a different color. What color do you guys think we got? So we got red and on the front it has the little unicorn thing this is like a really fancy unicorn not as majestical it's or not as like mystical it's more like I don't know it's like it looks very like rugged it's like a rugged unicorn um this cup is made out of metal so that's something that I do think I think it's made out of metal it actually kind of feels like plastic that it was painted it says, do not put in dishwasher or microwave hand wash only. I think that this might be plastic, but painted in a metallic-y red to make it look like metal. Uh, it's just a cup. It's nothing that fancy. It would have been cool if we got the purple one or the gray one. I do like those two colors. I'm sure that this would have been more exciting if I didn't think that it was one cup that changed seven different colors. So I think that's why I'm a little bit disappointed. But that's a pretty cool cup. Nothing too fancy. Next, we got a pair of socks. We got Harry Potter socks. These are from BioWorld. These are pretty simple. It says Harry Potter alumni. That's actually kind of cool. These are dark gray socks with maroon writing. The next item that we got is this. It says please stand by and this box is made to look like a TV. I don't know which one's my bonus item. I guess I should look at that bonus item card. Whoa, is this from Fallout? This kind of looked like it was from Fallout, but this definitely looks like it's from Fallout. Oh, mm, plastic. This is pretty cool. So this is a bank. It's almost like my Batman bank that's right here. It's made out of like a thick, thick, plasticky rubber material. So this is the, um, this is the power armor helmet from the power armor suit. Um, this is a licensed Fallout product, which is very cool. And let's see if you can just kind of get a little bit more detail. I never realized how much this helmet, kind of from this angle, kind of looks like something that could be in Star Wars. Like, it's a little, not, it's not super similar, and I don't want to offend anyone who's a hardcore Star Wars fan. But just like at quick glance. You know, it could kind of be seen as something from Star Wars. Anyways, so we got the Power Armor Helmet Bank. And then the last one that we have is... Oh, nope, just kidding. The next one we have is here. This says, congratulations, redeem your promo code. Okay, so this is cool. Because ThinkGeek is an actual store, I think I said that, that they have an online shop. That's how I first knew about it. They sell, like, geeky products, like, really cool geeky products. A little bit overpriced. But what they did is, instead of putting, like, a game dollar or something, I love this. They put a gift card and you don't know what the value is going to be. It could be five to a hundred dollars and, and anywhere in between. I love things like that because you basically have to go on, put your code in and see how much it's worth, which is amazing. So I'm going to keep that and see if I can find anything good. It's probably most likely only worth five dollars though. Let's be real. And then the last time we got is our shirt. This is a licensed Le Legend of Zelda shirt, like legitimately licensed with the tag with the printed tag right here. We got a men's medium, and this is kind of like a slate gray. It has a little bit of a blue to it. I believe I know what this shirt looks like because I think this is the one item that they did do a spoiler alert for when they were promoting this box. I almost said so. I think it's a, a Legend of Zelda shirt, but obviously I just said it's from Legend of Zelda, so that would have been ridiculous. Okay, so this is a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild shirt from the Nintendo Switch. I love everything I've received shirt-wise from this game. I love because the design always comes in like this kind of like paintbrush artistic -y kind of look 
and feel instead of just like printed it looks like it was kind of like I don't know there's something about this game I just like the way that they've been promoting all of their items so I like that shirt a lot now I can't really figure out 100% what the bonus item was where's that little card oh uh, the bonus okay so the bonus item was the Ghostbusters cards not awesomely super awesomely cool but it's okay I would have rather I'm glad that I got this instead of getting like a dollar off each month box because this is worth more than a dollar to me so that's okay all right let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap so I'm not gonna price this out yet we're gonna hold off on that the first time we had was our Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild shirt I would easily give this shirt $12 as a licensed shirt you might even be able to give that a little bit more but as you guys know for licensed shirts I usually give them $12 we have our Harry Potter Bio World socks. I probably just give these five dollars. Um, they're a little bit thin. I mean, but that's the style. It's it's meant to be like that. But they're cozy. These are what you could wear. To actually, like if you're dressing up a little bit more, you could actually wear these. Not super colorful, but they're not suit and they're not like athletically thick socks or anything like that. So we'll give those five dollars. We had our Magical Mixing Pony pints. Uh, this is a Think Geek capsule product, so this is like their in-house exclusive. I honestly would probably only give this, I would honestly say $3. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it, should I give it $3.50 or $4? Because one of the nice things is they did package it. It's in its own box. It's not just a cup in the box, which is usually like what happens. Is people just put a cup inside the box. This is in a box, and it's nice, and it's cool. You could actually like give it to somebody as a present so that makes it a teeny bit more valuable if I had to price that out I the cup itself is probably only worth three dollars so I'll do three fifty because it has nice packaging I was gonna say four but I really just don't know if that cup is worth four dollars I think that might be overpricing it we got our pin I'll go ahead and give the pin five dollars because it came in this cool little box thing although I, I do hope that they change the size of their wrapper compared to the cardboard because it's really hard to open without ripping so we'll do five dollars for that. Actually, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm gonna do four fifty because packaging's nice, but I'm only gonna add. It's not like as nice as like a geek feel pin or anything like that. So I'm just gonna add four fifty. Four dollars for the pin, fifty cents for the uh, packaging. And the last time we had was our Fallout power bank. I probably could have opened this card to do this, but the Fallout power bank is cool. Uh, I like the box that came in as well. Licensed product. All right, here we go on Amazon. This thing is worth about eighteen dollars. Um, eighteen dollars. Yeah, I think I get twenty dollars to the Batman one I received. I'm gonna give this fifteen dollars. I feel like if I shopped around, I probably could get that cheaper somewhere. So we'll give that fifteen dollars. I think that still actually might be a little bit high, but it's a licensed follow-up product, so we'll go with it. Okay. Now, I'm not going to price out the, the bonus item, which was the pack of cards, but I probably would give this anywhere from three to five dollars. Cool. So according to my pricing, this box is worth $40. We pay $30 a month for technically $29.99. So that means we got $10 extra value on top of what we paid for, which is exactly value-wise what we're looking for this box. This wasn't a bad box. It was a little bit all over the place for me. Let's open this up. So this is what the card looks like. This is really fancy. I do like this portion of it. So it says I'm automatically entered to win one of five Nintendo Switch consoles. That's very cool. And you can do that whole earn extra giveaways by doing another thing. You're like, oh, follow us on Twitter. Do this. Da, 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 da. I don't know how you know if you won this, if they, like, contact somebody or if they do a drop in the box. But, yeah, so that's an option. Okay, so here's the items. We had our Harry Potter socks. We had our Fallout 4 Power Armor Helmet Bank. We had our Magical Mixing Pony Pint. We had our Fantasy Pins. And then we had our Think Geek promo card with a potential to win up to $100 off of their website. It doesn't have a theme. It doesn't look like there's a theme. I mean, the pin said fantasy edition, so I kind of, well, it's kind of a fantasy box. I would definitely say, I don't know if Fallout 4 would be considered fantasy. I don't, that's the one thing I don't, it doesn't connect with everything else. Because Harry Potter, unicorns, magical pins, it's kind of fantasy. Now, this box is weird because it got its value, and I'm not, terribly disappointed with it whatsoever oh and the shirt sorry but oh I guess with the shirt it, it's an okay amount of items I was gonna say it doesn't seem like that many items but I guess with the shirt it does I'm not like I think it's a good box actually I like almost all of these items my least favorite item is definitely the cup it's just because I disappointed myself with it prior to opening it but even I don't know it's just not like 
the coolest thing. I'm assuming you could probably buy all of this stuff on their website too, which is, it's like, a, this is like a promotion for their website, basically. Um, my favorite item is probably the shirt and the socks. I like the Hogwarts Harry Potter socks and I like the Zelda shirt. So the power bank's cool, I just, I, I'm not a huge fan of Fallout. I was not very good at the game, which is why I'm probably not a huge fan of it. I wonder if T would want that, because she, I think, liked Fallout. So, and the pin was like, all right. If I had to rate this box, it's not bad for their first box whatsoever. Uh, I would probably rate it like, I think for me personally, I'd probably give it a 4.5 out of 5 noobs, only because the cups didn't make me as excited and like the fallout bank, I'm like, I'm like teetering. I'm not quite sure if it's like a really, it's like pretty cool, but it's not for me personally something that's like superly awesomely amazing. So I would say 4.5 out of 5 noobs, but if you liked everything in this box, you could easily give it a 5. And then before I go, I just want to give a shout out to them because what I do like is the thought and effort that they put into their box and just the packaging because it actually is really, really cool and really nice. So props to you, Think Geek. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what did you guys think about this box. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts because... Some of you guys had already started commenting on my Instagram picture, follow me on Instagram, at Nerdy Noob, that you guys, some of you guys were so excited, some of you guys said I was going to be disappointed, I, I, I'm not quite sure if you guys have seen what's in the box or not, so I'm really interested, like, what did you guys think for their first box, did you like it, did you hate it, do you think it's worth it, what do you think about, you know, value-wise is it good, item-wise is it good, they do have some pretty good quality items, obviously since they are a, a shop, like an actual store, they have the ability, I'm assuming, to get pretty cool items since they already have them in their store. Maybe it's probably just their overstock. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm interested to hear what you guys think about this, and we'll see how the next box does in July. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked to such a private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page. It's not, it's not, just be on the lookout for it. It'll be, oh, it'll come back soon. Just be ready. Oh, and before I do my video shout out, my shout out of the video, my whatever it's called, uh, I just want to say that I have my giveaway going on, my June giveaway. If you guys didn't see it, it's literally open for like three days, or it was open for three days. Now it's only open until tomorrow, which is Friday, June 30th at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you just go on my videos on my channel and scroll down, you'll see it. I just posted it, I think, yesterday or the day before, the day before. So hopefully you can enter that before tomorrow. All you gotta do is watch the video and comment. Today's video shout out goes to Makilda Lawless. Makilda Lawless, thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. I, I saw that you commented on a few of my videos, uh, what is that, yesterday, today? Like in the middle of the night, which means that I don't know where you live, but maybe you are awake. Thank you so much for watching, you get the what do we call it? The shout out of the video. I still, I gotta figure that out. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.